So just kind of like to, to kind of dial in this, right? Conversion is a must, right? Just in, in, in kind of recapping the key things to make your campaigns better and more effective. Have to track. If you're not tracking, you really don't have any business running a pay-per-click campaign. If you don't know the KPIs, you're wasting money. Um, your campaign has to be broken down into smaller targeted ad groups so that you can you can really get the relevancy, which gets your lower cost per click, which makes it possible to generate enough clicks, to generate enough calls to make money with your pay-per-click campaign. You need to make sure that you've got a strong understanding of the different match types. You've got to make sure you've got a really well-dialed in negative keyword list. You have to write compelling text ads that resonate and make the person want to click on your ad that stands out versus the competition. You need to leverage those call out extensions to make your, your ad stand out on the page. And you've got to have good landing pages that are, are written specifically for the different ad groups that are congruent all the way through the process. And when you do that, you can get a much better result. So I just want to show you a, a real example of this inside AdWords, kind of take you through this whole process so you can visualize it. But here we are, we were looking at a campaign for, um, you know, for drain cleaning. We've got drain cleaning, drain repair, unclogged drain, drain clear, etc. right? And this is a long list of keywords specifically to drains. We've got text ads that are written for number one drain cleaning service. Call this company plumbing today. You trusted Mason and Cincinnati plumber to call us today, right? So there's there's the ad inside the, the campaign. And then we land them on a page that speaks directly to that service, right? $50 off drain cleaning, $50 off, uh, 40 off drain, 50 off hydro, phone number up here in the top, lots of reviews and social proof, content to that specific offer. We do that, we can manage our cost per click, we can get a good conversion rate, we can get tangible, measurable, consistent, scalable return on investment. So just as you know, using that client as the example here, um, pay-per-click specifically about $2,000 a month. So not a massive budget, right? This is a, a good manageable budget. Generated 70 leads, you know, that's calls and web forms at an average cost per lead of $28 per lead. Right in the sweet spot of where we like to see our, our plumbing leads to generate a great return on investment. So if we look at this on the chalkboard, right, we've got 70 leads, average conversion rate of 40%. That would be 28 book jobs at an average ticket of 550. 28 jobs at 550 is $15,700 revenue, which is a seven time return on investment. And these are the kind of campaigns that are within reach for you. Um, if you get this stuff dialed in and or if you work with a company like ours, we'd love the opportunity to talk with you about how you can generate better results with your pay-per-click campaign. Because, you know, you know, just in, in we have a passion for the plumbing and HVAC industry. We talk with, with you guys literally every day, uh, you know, and we want to see you win. We want to help you succeed. And, and so when we see campaigns that, you know, are being run poorly or, you know, they just aren't generating return on investment or worse, you have no idea how much is going to management fee versus actually going to your advertising spend. We want to get that right. And we want to, we want to help you win online. So I want to arm you with some questions to ask your PPC provider. So whether you're doing this on your own or maybe you're hired somebody else, or you're thinking about hiring someone else to do this for you. There's some things you need to ask and be aware of going into it because this will inform whether you're in good hands or whether you're potentially in problematic hands. So the number one question I think you have to ask and you have to know is how much of my budget is going to go to AdWords and Google Ads versus management fees. You have to know that. If you don't know that, you're literally just, you're completely at the mercy of the company that you're working with. There's no way to optimize for that. There's no way to scale that. It's just give me five grand and I'm going to do with it whatever I see fit. I can't think of any scenario where that makes sense. And some of the bigger companies like Reach Local and Yodel and Scorpion, like that's their model, right? They just want you to blindly hand them money and hope that they're going to spend it in your best interest. So that's the number one question is how much of my budget is going to be actually going to my Google AdWords campaign? The second is how are you going to be tracking this, right? Are you going to have tracking of the leads that come in through Google AdWords. Will I be able to know without question how many calls came in 
And then how many of those came from Google AdWords? How many leads actually came from that? And is it going to track all the way through to my AdWords campaign so that you can optimize around it? Again, if you don't have web and call tracking in AdWords, you're at a major disadvantage versus your competition, right? The, the guys that have this dialed in, like us, we have access to this data. We're optimizing the campaign around these things. We will win. We will beat you because we've got the data. We're not just doing this for you. We're doing it for hundreds of plumbing and HVAC contractors. So if, if you've got someone that's just kind of randomly running an AdWords campaign, they don't understand the plumbing and HVAC world, they're not telling you how much they spent, they're not telling you, you know, they don't know how much of the conversions came from, you know, the SEO versus the pay-per-click, we're going to beat you, you know, nine times out of ten. Will you be able to delineate PPC versus organic? How are you going to track my KPIs, my key performance indicators? Will I get some kind of um, dashboard where I can look and see? You know, you want to know whether that's in place. And at a minimum, what's my average cost per lead? Obviously, you also want to know what my projected return on investment is. Um, will you be setting up landing pages? If so, are you going to be driving traffic to the landing pages? Are they going to be optimized for conversion? Do you split test my text ads? That's pretty important that there's constant improvement happening on the AdWords campaign. Will you be leveraging ad extensions to make my ads stand out? Um, what, are the, what are the terms? What are our targets? Like what are our KPIs in terms of cost per lead and in terms of minimum return on investment? If your provider doesn't have a target that they're shooting for on an average cost per lead basis and they can't share that with you, I would think that's a, that's a warning signal. Well, I hope you got value from that video. If you'd like more ideas, strategies, and techniques on how to really more effectively market your plumbing or HVAC business online, I'd like to invite you to go to plumberseo.net slash checklist. Uh, there we've outlined the ultimate online marketing checklist for plumbing and HVAC contractors to, to really maximize your lead flow online. This really simplifies the entire online marketing equation into a checklist that you can easily identify what you should do next and what you could do to really probably double, triple, or even 10x the number of leads you're getting for your plumbing or HVAC business online. So you can get that completely free of charge, simple one-page checklist with a video that explains and kind of walks you through it. Just go to plumberseo.net slash checklist. Talk to you soon.